Hello, my darlings. Okay, we're going to start the tour on the outside. This is the front where the tanks are and the battery. Now, Mr. Casey gave me this battery, but uh, warned me that it doesn't really hold a charge for very long, so eventually I'll have to get a new one. But you'll be all hooked up to power, so that shouldn't affect you much. And the two tanks in here are both... Well, one is completely full and one is only slightly tapped, so I think you'll have plenty of propane. We'll get more if you need it. Around the side here, we have the first basement. The same key opens all of the exterior access ports, so you will have that key. It's very narrow. It's tall, though. It goes into the inside. You can access it from the inside. There's a hose and there's the rod that works the chain thingy that I can't think of the word for right now. Um, and such. This little port is for your power hookup. That's the electricity. It's got an adapter thing on it. All sorts of fun stuff that I'm sure Stephen understands and I don't. Okay, onward. This is the last little outdoor port. This will be under Violet's bed and you can access it from the inside by taking her bed entirely apart, but uh, I don't think you'll have a reason to. Right now it just has the sewer hose in it. them up because if I don't do it right away, I will forget and that will be bad. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. The very last one is to access the hot water heater and we'll do that in Ohio. And again, I hope, Stephen, you understand more about it than I do. Okay, let's go inside. Yay! She's old and shabby, but I love her. Someday we'll get the outside cleaned up. I can't really see the screen because of the sun, so I hope you're seeing good things. So, front door. Reflector tape, so old ladies don't trip on their way in. door. Yay! Same key for the deadbolt lock and the little handle lock. Again, you will have one of those. And there is a handy dandy hooky thing to hold the door open. Just push it on. And the screen door. And here we are! Yay! This is a tricky little angle. Look at that. There's my finger. Oh, I'm not much of a videographer. So I have a handy dandy little place to put your shoes right away when you come in. Yay! And of course a rug. Raise a tick your advice to heart. There are many rugs. <laughs> we'll keep it. But no carpets. We'll keep it all clean. Okay. Let's start with the dinette area. This is to your right upon entering. Let's go back. Well, I don't think we'll get all of it in, but there's most of it. So, I think it turned out really great. I love it. So, I have lots of pillows and stuff, of course, you are more than welcome to stash them, or I can take them back 
to Maryland with me once we get to Ohio, or I mean, geez, even before we leave for Ohio, I can take them back to the house. You don't have to have them all. I love how the lace turned out on the windows. It looks really pretty. Both dinette seats lift up and have storage under them. The right side's a bit more limited than the left. As I showed you outside, the left opens up into the basement underneath. And my gargoyle, he looks so handsome there in the corner. And of course here, can you see? There we go. All my favorite books guarded by these beautiful little raven book holders. I'm excited. It's gorgeous. I got these, which are surge adapters, surge guards, and also have the USB ports so that you will have, and they just plug into the outlets that we have on the wall. So you'll have all that you need for your computer equipment to be safely connected to the power. And of course, we have overhead bins, just a few things tucked in. Like I said, anything that you don't actually think you will use, I will take back to Frederick with me to free up storage space for your stuff. Uh, as for the existing light fixtures, Mr. Casey, oh, fingers again, sorry. Mr. Casey went through and turned them all on for me when I looked at the camper. They all work, um, but of course I have no power here, so I can't show you on the video. All of the windows have blinds that are in working order and can be pulled down to block the view and or the light so that you can sleep, I hope. Um, they're not in great shape. A lot of them are held together with duct tape. Oh, they'll do for the summer. Someday we'll buy new blinds. Okay. These curtains I put in. to offer a bit more privacy when you and Violet are here. Um, they are just on a, an expandable pension rod, so they can be moved to any point in the trailer. They do go the full width of it. Um, that way, nobody has to try and get dressed in that ridiculous little bathroom that you can't move in without bonking yourself all over the place. Um, and should someone wish to work late into the night on his computer while little girls are sleeping, that can be done too. Hello! So this cabinet with the mirror, it's very roomy. Lots of junk kind of piled in there now. Again, anything you don't feel a need for can be taken out. Nice place to put your shoes. I have a bucket. There is the vacuum. This box holds a, a broom and dustpan set. Whoa. There. So, so and bags to take stuff to the beach, and lots of hangers. Put your clothes up. And here is the little trash can. Whee! Hopefully, will be sufficient for your needs. Behind it is the electrical panel with breakers and whatnot, and a CO2 monitor. And there's a second CO2 monitor, so you can. And that's right there. So you can use the propane without worry. Of course. Yeah. 
Get far enough so that you can see the couch. Oh, yeah. Very comfy. I love how it turned out. And I have a little ottoman because I like to put my feet up. It's collapsible. It can be put away and totally out of the way. And also it's hollow so you can store things like all of these ridiculous blankets that you won't need in the summer that I just love to have out. I also have two of these collapsible adjustable height tables indoor outdoor so that you can have one when you're sitting on the couch for your drink or your meal or your laptop and you can put it anywhere so if you wanted to watch a movie on the laptop or whatnot it can be right there and again it collapses flat and fits in the basement my beautiful rug I love it it fits perfectly kitchen Yay. and again the shoe holder by the door so I have a lot of junk already in the cupboards <laughs> and again free to keep what will help you and uh, dismiss what won't hot plate as you can see some utensils this is a salt and pepper grinder my French press because that's how I like to make coffee an electric kettle that I cannot live without uh, the just drainer does not fit down into the sink sadly but again can sit on a it does kind of sit in the sink so you could just set it in the sink and put dishes in it but then it's kind of in the way but whatever we'll figure it out one way or the other or I can sit on a towel out on the counter and dry the dishes nice double sink I am happy about that a light above the sink which is nice Okay, the range hood is actually the display area for power and gas and water tanks and battery and all that stuff that I am not yet actually using. Above it is the microwave. Small, but certainly serviceable. Of the sink is a huge cabinet that I currently have dishes in. That's for Violet. That's so exciting. Happy little kitty cup. Where'd my light go? Oh well. There are there. That's better, sort of. The sun is behind the clouds now. Dishes. I had a service for two of the plastic cream colored dishes and I bought a service for four of the red dishes. They were so cheap. They're Walmart specials. They're not really any heftier than paper plates, uh, only slightly, but I think they'll do great for the summer. And there are two of the brown cups and four of the red and a little pitcher and these lovely big mugs that I found at the salvo they're huge and I figure I was so excited when I found them because I thought well, there's Stephen's rule right there multi-purpose there's your soup bowl your cereal bowl your mug everything all in one exciting Okay, now, down below. Oh, one thing I want to point out. My paint job did not stand up especially well. There are many places. There's one over here that you can see really clearly where it's already dinged up. I put a protective Minwax 
coating on it, uh, a spray. So hopefully as that cures, it gets stronger. But I do not want you to worry about it at all if you make a ding in the paint because obviously um, that's going to be very easy to do. And I'm sure by the end of the summer, regular wear and tear will have many dings. So we'll just have to repaint in the fall, that's all. No big deal. Under the sink, there is pretty much everything you could need for um, cleanup and kitchen stuff. No. Also, oh, I don't think I pointed out. When you come in, there is... I can't get it from there. Hang on. There is a little fire extinguisher by the door. Um, that came with the camper. I'm not really sure of its efficacy. I haven't tested it. So I bought a second fire extinguisher. Little, but brand new and good for any type of fire. Um, so you have that in case you need it. And of course, uh, Walmart Lysol and soap detergent and SOS pads and just a little cow stat from the hospital that's hand sanitizer an ashtray an ant trap as I hear it's really easy to get ants in your trailer plastic baggies aluminum foil trash bags sponges gloves for scrubbing Clorox Windex, Pine Saw, and way in the back, if we can see, there's WD-40, and there's, um, there are shelf liners, <laughs> oh, Grace, I bought shelf liners to line all the shelves, and then completely forgot about it, and filled everything up, so if you should wish to empty cupboards and line them, you are more than welcome to, otherwise, I'm just leaving that shelf liner in there. <laughs> because I'm way too lazy to take everything out now and line the shelves. So anyway, all kinds of goodies in there.